I'm Louise Lipsy. I'm from Aspen, Colorado. And something interesting about myself is that I've been dancing since I was four. And I've been on my school's dance team for the past four years. And this year, for my senior year, I was elected dance team captain by my teammates. My first monologue is from William Shakespeare's Henry V. Oh, for a muse of fire that would ascend the brightest heaven of invention. A kingdom for a stage, princes to act, and monarchs to behold the swelling sea. Then should the warlike Harry, like himself, assume the port of Mars, and at his heels leashed in like hound, should fam and sword and fire crouch for employment. But pardon, gentles all, the flat, unraised spirits that have dared on this unworthy scaffold to bring forth so great an object. Suppose, within the girdle of these walls are now confined two mighty monarchies, whose high upreared and abutting fronts the narrow perilous ocean parts asunder. Peace out our imperfections with your thoughts, and do a thousand parts divide one man and make imaginary puissants. Think when we talk of horses that you see them printing their proud hooves in the receiving earth. For tis your thoughts that now must deck our kings, carry them here and there, jumping o'er times, turning the accomplishment of many years into an hourglass. For the which supply, admit me course to the history, who, for a love like your humble patience, pray gently to hear, kindly to judge our play. Thank you. Now, my second monologue is from Dog Face, written by Kelly Powell. If you just aren't attracted to me, I could understand that. I know you can't choose who you want. You can't control those feelings. The heart wants what the heart wants. If we could choose, then I could stop wanting you. So if you just don't like me like that, but you do, don't you? I mean, you must. You can't find me too repulsive. You're the one who kissed me. Did I do something wrong? Was I too easy? Was I supposed to play hard to get? No one ever explained the rules to me. All I know how to do is be honest. And you said that was something you loved about me. Is it, are you ashamed? Is that why you're pretending like it didn't happen? You said you're not ready. Is anyone ever ready for the life to change? <laughs> we'll make all kinds of stupid mistakes and feel like idiots and welcome to the human condition. Trial and error, it's the only way to learn. No one's ever ready. <sighs> okay, if I'm wrong, then I'm wrong. But if I'm right, too chicken shit to deal with the possibility of something real and rare and dangerous and life altering, then, then I'm not even sure I would want to love someone so stupid. I think I finally understand why they say you lose your virginity. I do feel like I've lost something. I lost the walls I built to protect myself from feeling this. I lost my isolation. I let you in and I gave you the power to hurt me. Thank you.